Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to look how you can solve this question. This is one of the likely, likely questions. So if this is your first time of visiting this channel, this channel please do well to subscribe, like, and the notification button. Thank you and uh, God bless you as you do so. So let's look how you can solve this question. Now, the question states that find the value of k. If we have the square root 2 over k plus root 2 is equal to we have 1 over k minus root 2. Leave your answer in the form of what? P plus n root n. So what you just do here, now the first thing to remember the topic. Now the topic, if you see the question like this, now the topic is for solved. So in this place now, you now remember how you can solve any sort of problem according to the rules of salt. So in this place, let's take the our let's look it now and solve it here now. Let's take our question outside then. Let's take it outside. We have here we have root 2 over k plus root 2 equal to 1 over k minus root 2. So we have it like this. In this place now, the first thing to come to mind, we have this way, we have the first part here, we have the second part here and what divide this into two parts is what equal to so if you see something like this, the first thing to do here is what you cross and apply so when you cross and apply, this one you apply this, this one you apply this if you just have to multiply this, this one equal to root 2 into bracket here, k minus root 2 plus bracket is equal to this time 1 is gives us give us k plus what? root 2 so since you get this one, you know this one as what I insert now. Let's give us a simple equation. So what we just saw here now, let's open this bracket now. So that is root 2 times k and so root 2 times what root 2. Root 2 times k is what give us k that give us k what root 2 minus that is what root 2 times root 2 give us root we have 2 times what 2 equal to we have k plus what root what 2. So now we are breaking down small small. Here we have 2 times 2, we have what 4. So in the k k root 2 minus what root what 4 is equal to k plus root 2 so when you get it like this now what we just do here now no root 4 here you give us what root 4 k for 2 so in this place now this one became k root 2 minus 2 equal to k plus root 2 so in this place now this will give us a simple equation this is a simple equation now. Here, what is just doing here now? We collect the like time because we have k here. We have k here. Take this k to the side and take this two words to the side. This one now became what? It became k root 2 minus because we have positive, positive. Take this one, we call minus what? k is equal to when you take this one to the side, this minus will change to plus. This one became what? root 2 minus plus what? plus 2. So in this place now we have 2 plus 2. So we want to make this k. K is common in this place. We have this, we have two parts here. K here, we have k here. So let's take one k inside that part of this now. We have k into bracket root 2. So we have 2 here minus what? 1. Oh, it's equal to root 2 plus what? 2. So in this place, if you open this back, this time this gives us this, this time this gives us this. So this is how to provide this one. So in this place, I want to make this case a formula now. You divide first by the question of k, and the question of k what is anything what inside this bracket now. And inside this bracket, we have root 2 minus 1. So we divide both sides by what? Root 2 minus 1. Root 2 minus 1. So when you divide both sides by root 2 minus 1, so this one we cancel this. We have now left k is equal to k is equal to root 2 plus what? 2 over root 2 minus 1. So that's the value of what? That's the value of k. So now the answer that the student should leave here, our answer in form of what? Of p plus m root what? n. And this is not our answer. This is not the way they said that we should leave it. So what we just do here, so you get the value of k is all of this now. So let's take this one out. Let's take that one out. We have. Let me just take a moment. So we have root two plus two over we have root two minus one. So if this is something like this, now you have to remember these rules in indices rational. So you rationalize this word, this this uh, this question now. You rationalize this now. So when you rationalize this one, this one now became what? The denominator here we used to multiply up and down. So this now became what? root 2 plus 1 over root 2 
plus one. So this one, I've changed the sign. If I want to rationalize what this question now, I will change the sign of what the denominator here. We have the two. This one change to what plus. That's how I get this one. This one multiply by up. This also what multiply by down. So now let's work. Let's work for you now. This one multiply by this. We have two times root two here. We have root two times root two. We have we have root two times two here. Plus that is root two. Let me write it as two root two. I put it like that. Here we have 1 times this, 1 times root 2, we have plus here. 1 times root 2 give us what? Root 2. 1 times 2, let give us plus what? 2. Everything over. So in this case, then we have root 2 times root 2 here. This one gives us as 2 times 2, root 2 times root 2. We have root 2 times minus 1 here, give us our minus what? Root 2. Here, here we have 1. Okay, we have 1 times root 2 here, give us what? We have plus here, we have plus what? Root 2. We have 1 times minus 1, give us minus what? 1. So in this place now, since so you get this one now, this one, this one, if you look at this one now, let's, okay, let's solve it now. From this one, you have 2 times 2, you have 4. This one became what? Root 4. Root 4 plus 2 root 2 plus root 2 root 2 plus 2 everything over we have root 4 here plus this one cancel because this one and this one minus and positive here because we are common this one we cancel this one became 0 we have our minus 1 we have minus 1 here so in this place now what led in this place now okay we have root 2 root 2 here root, uh, root 4 here give us all 2 plus here we have root 1 here root 2 here here we have we have two root two here. This one and this one they are like the question of root two here is what is one and the question of root two here is what is one is two. So two plus one here gives us three what root two plus two. Everything divided by here we have root two here two minus one. So in, in this place now let's take this one and this plus this. Okay we have two here we have two here. It's called like time two plus two. This gives what four. Plus here we have 3 root 2 over we have this subtract this from this we have what 1. This one became what 1. So 80 divided by 1 is still what? Is still that what? 4. Is still that what? 4 plus 3 root 2. So now our k is now equal to 4 plus 3 what? Root 2. So this one has been what? In form of the, in this p here. P is equal to what? Is 4. And n is equal to what? TV and n is equal to what? 2. So in that say what? Therefore, our answer in number our p is equal to 4, our, our n is equal to 3, and our what? Our n is equal to what? 2. It's called the So now, that is our answer for this kind of question. So if you see this kind of question in your NECO exam or in any other exam, this is the way you want to use service. So if you like this video, please do well to subscribe, like, or turn the question button.